Hey everyone, it's your girl Jasmine Murray and we are back with another video. So in this video, I am going to be roller setting my hair. I can't even remember the last time I've done this. It's been a while. So since I've cut my hair and I'm wanting to put layers in it right now, I said why not straighten my hair right quick? Um, except do, instead of doing a flat iron, I'm going to roller set my hair with magnetic rollers and sit under the dryer. Less heat, less damage, and I get great results in a longer lasting style whenever I do it that way. So, if you're interested in seeing how I will set my natural hair, then keep on watching. So before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys what shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to be using. And this is the VO5 Extra Body with Collagen Conditioner. I got this from Family Dollar. It was literally $1 each for these two right here. I've been using VO5 and Suave for years since the beginning. And if you guys remember that, all my original OGs, you know I've been using that for years. So I'll always alternate between the two. I know that Suave and VO5, their conditioners and shampoos, it has silicone in it um, to coat your hair. Um, I'm not really that person that really wants to find something that doesn't have any silicone. Oh, I need to get sulfate-free, paraben-free, and all that kind of good stuff. No, it doesn't really bother me. As long as my hair is clean um, and conditioned, um, I'm good. You know, I've been using these products for years. It had... It did not um, damage my hair or anything like that. So I'm going to continue to use it. If you guys have anything that you prefer to use, then go ahead and use that. You know, it's your personal preference. Just do your research. So this is what I'm going to wash and condition my hair with. And when I'm done, I'm going to come back. Okay, my beautiful people. So as you can see, I wash and condition my hair. So I'm just going to take my favorite detangling brush just to brush my hair out now keep in mind my hair was 100% wet drenching wet but look at this it looks like it's starting to dry up already so I'm just I decided that I was just gonna just separate my hair from the front and the back typically whenever you are doing a roller set in your hair um, you start at the top um, measure out the roller go down mohawk style you know the traditional way but since we are working with natural curly hair and we want it to be as comfortable on your head as possible because you'll be surprised like it is kind of hard sometimes whenever you are trying to set your hair with rollers and you're natural before I get started I'm gonna just spray my hair with the leave-in conditioner from Lotta Body and I'll make sure I'll place links in the description box on where you can purchase some of the products so I got this um, I love um, ORS foaming wrap lotion. First time using it and it did okay. So I like to make sure that my hair is completely soaked with the foaming wrap lotion. And then whenever I am applying the actual roller, I like to pull it taut. And as you can see, I have mesh and paper on the roller just to make sure that I get my ends as straight as possible. And the comb that I was using is the original comb that I've always used whenever I style my hair for hair for certain styles. And what I'm using is a three row comb. That is my absolute favorite. I love to detangle my hair with that too. I use it in my girl's hair as well. Um, so these are just magnetic rollers that I'm using that my mom had on hand. Um, mine is in storage so I never got the chance to get it out so I just used hers. Being that my hair is kind of longer in length, um, I typically would have used the gray rollers or the black ones, which are the ones that are really big. Um, I did not like how it turned out because it left my end super curly because the roller was kind of small. Um, but keep in mind, the only reason why I'm really doing this is so that my mom can cut my hair in layers. and. To get you know neat layers she wanted my hair to be straightened a little bit instead of super curly so and of course I'm gonna wear my hair like this for a little while too you know like top knot buns and things like that I'm not gonna keep it like this for long but I know you guys must be like oh my god such a big process for to not have it in your head or the style to have it you know 
for a while but i enjoy doing videos like this just to show you guys i don't care if i go wash my hair out the next day i just want you guys to see different techniques and different ways on how you can style your hair and i love to roll a set in my hair because it is less heat so you don't have to take your hair directly to heat Sitting under a hooded dryer is just like sitting outside with the wind blowing hot air, pretty much, to me, in my eyes. So, to me, it's not really that much damage. So just as long as you moisturize your hair, spray a finishing spray. If, you are, if your hair is prone to damage, then I would definitely use a heat protectant. But my hair is pretty strong, so I don't have a problem with that. So what I'm going to do now is stop talking and I'm just going to let you guys enjoy and watch me roller set my hair. Throughout this process, if you have any questions, or tips, or suggestions, just leave a comment below and of course I'll read
all right so as you can see I am done with really setting my hair I think I used about 18 20 rollers I believe and here is the finish did not take long to dry at all I think because I didn't drench my hair and keep spraying my hair with water which is the reason why it did not take long to dry my ends are perfectly straight I look like curly sue and <laughs> yeah it did come out really well and I'm very pleased see so yeah, if you guys remember my old roller setting video what I used to do is leave it like this and take a flat iron and touch up the roots since I wanted my roots really straight but I'm not going to be doing that in this video it's super curly and I did not like it but hey whatever I'm only doing this to get my hair cut <laughs> so I'm going to use Lana Bailey's um, Illuminate Me Shine Mist to add some shine and um, kind of oil up my hair a little bit and then I'm going to use my same detangling brush to brush it out and I just bought this wrap cap from Family Dollar for a dollar so whenever I wrap my hair up I can go ahead and tie it up absolutely love the roots to the mid shaft of the hair but once it got to the end it was super super curly and it ain't my style I look like a little your auntie you know what I mean or like what your mama used to do back in the day when she gave you your relaxer and then roller set your hair yeah no not for me boo I'm almost 30 I ain't got time for that my hair is super shiny y'all oh my god and I just cut my hair and it's already a little bit past my shoulder again I don't know if you remember I have the link in the description box below of the video when I cut my hair but it was literally sitting on top of my shoulder straightened but yeah this is it y'all wrapping my hair up using the boar bristle brush to kind of lay it flatter I'm gonna tie my hair up and that's pretty much about it that's what I do to roll this at my hair i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified whenever i upload a new video thank you guys so much for watching until the next one bye